you and Veronica Gleason got in touch and said that you'd been working uh, together on on this adaptation that Veronica had been writing on, on, of Anne Deverson's memoir, um, Tell Me I'm Here. And can you just tell me what, why, what drew you to it? I devoured the book over a weekend and um, was uh, deeply, deeply moved by the story um, and its power and its honesty. Um, and of course, I said, yes, I, I want to be involved and um, let's let's give this a go. One of the things that theatre is amazing at is talking about difficult things in a way that is not difficult and in fact is the opposite of difficult and the thing that I love about this is that the, you know like the material sounds like it's challenging but in fact the experience of it is the, the generosity and love inside the experience is extraordinary. There's something about the way that Veronica has weaved the story together that is full of heart and lots of humour um, and Davidson was actually a very um, funny, dry, smart woman. And so the way that she managed a lot of these, you know, um, difficulties um, that she was facing was through some, you know, very dry humor. But there's also, you know, a, a, an openness to the writing that invites lots of theatricality. So, you know, in, in my vision for the work, I hope that it's going to be, you know, very lyrical and you know will exploit all of the wonderful things that you know can only happen with the magic of theater and in a magical space like Belvoir so I think we're in for a real treat it's not just delicious words and big ideas but it's also movement and actors doing you know what actors do best which is you know, transform in front of our eyes and tell us, you know, these incredibly human events that we have to navigate. Can you give us a quick, just tell us quickly what what this is about? The story of Tell Me I'm Here is about um, a mother, Anne Deverson, who was a broadcaster and a filmmaker and a major intellectual player in, um, in Australian society, um, who has to come to terms with her son, uh, being diagnosed with schizophrenia and um, as she tries to come to terms with that and seek help for him she confronts a world that uh, is not prepared to acknowledge that this is a disease that many people have to endure uh, and the services that she had hoped would be available to her uh, and to her son um, are less than adequate um, but one thing that kind of sustains across the work and across her life is the unwavering love she has for, for her child, um, which sometimes is what makes her um, incredible and admirable and at times um, very flawed and, and human because there are compromises that she has to make to the detriment of, of other family members um, and even to herself. Um, and even to her very own son, Jonathan, who is trying to manage something very difficult himself. So it's really complex and very beautiful.